Alright, so today we're going to be covering how to create a little uh, alcohol stove from nothing but a single pop can. Doesn't really matter what brand. Um, you could even use, you know, a taller monster can or something else like that. But as long as you get the basic concept down, you can make pretty much any size can you wanted into a stove. Um, so as you can see, this this uh, inner part here is the top of the can, and the outer part is the bottom of the can. And I would pour the fuel in the middle. It would go through the little ports down there. It's kind of yeah, go through here into a chamber on the outside, and then uh, these little pilot holes uh, would have the flames that burned up and out. And my pot would rest just directly on here the flames would be going up around it. Um, I've already used both of these. These work great. Um, this one I made with only this pair of scissors. It's just a little uh, Coleman camp scissors. Uh, I obviously would not have dremels or electricity or um, drills or all that fun stuff out in the wild. So as long as I had my scissors on me, which I always carry in my pack anyway. Uh, I could find a pop can on the side of the road in a recycling bin somewhere. I could create one of these, cook my food, boil water, whatever. Anyway, so we'll start here uh, with this can. And we want to cut it into about three even sections. So I'm going to cut it about there and about there. And then we'll smooth out the edges. So, I'll take my scissors and just poke it where I want it. And then I'll just cut straight along it. Just rinse out any of the extra drink that was still left in there from the top part, the bottom part, so we can keep everything clean. And then this piece I will put aside for the moment. Next we're going to take uh, this bottom two-thirds and just cut that in half. Um, you want to cut it relatively straight if it's not 100% perfect. Don't stress it. We're going to clean it up later. If you mess up on your first try, it's okay. I did too. I had to start again. Okay. Now we have our bottom part. And I'll put that aside. This part is our middle section. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the ingredients list, and since it has a nice straight long line along the side of it, we're just going to use that as a reference and just cut it straight. Then we'll take it across the edge of a table or something, just crease it a little, that'll flatten it out for us, making it much easier to cut it and straighten it out. Adjust the camera here for a second. Okay, now we're going to take these edges and just cut all the, the rough stuff off of it. wider on this side, so I'm just going to cut some more off right here. This bag in the sink is actually for the aluminum scraps I cut off. I don't want to leave those laying around. We'll take the other side here and do the same thing. And just cut it as straight as you can. Boom. 
And now we have a strip here that's uh, pretty straight. If you can see it a little bit, there's actually lines into the like on the inside of the can. I don't know where they come from or whatever, but uh, if you can see those on the inside of your can, you can use them as a reference to cut a straight line. But we'll take this. We'll make a little loop around it. And, well, this part, keep it. We're just going to use it in a second, and we'll come back to it. The bottom part here, what you're going to want to do is cut and just uh, uh, smooth this all up so there's no uh, creases or rough edges or whatever on it. If you, if you see any, just kind of do your best to cut them out without cutting too deep into it. And, uh, there we go. We'll take this top half and do the same thing. Just cut off the rough stuff. Smooth it out. It doesn't have to be 100% absolutely perfect. Obviously, the nicer you make it, the better. But, for the purposes of just creating a functional one that will cook what you need to cook, this will work. Make the top part. Break off the tab. Break off this little tab on the inside. And we'll put that aside for now. Okay, we're going to take this piece and this piece. And if you can see on the inside there, there's a little ring where it indents. We want this piece to curl and fit right around it. So, Curl it up and just uh, figure out where it fits onto there. Let me see how I curled it up and fits right onto there. That's the size I need it. So I'm going to pinch it there. And I've seen uh, people actually use staplers to secure it. But the whole uh, idea here is to use as little as possible to create it and we're going to use these scissors. So a great little trick uh, to do is on the bottom here where the two edges are joining we're going to have to cut a jet in there anyway so I'm going to cut a slice there and a slice right next to it and just fold it out. So that way, this is going to secure these two pieces together. And it'll also give us our first jet, or our first uh, little vent port there. I'm going to cut another one right here, just down the edge here. Hold that up, hold it together. I'm just going to cut this off and smooth it out. In fact, I can actually cut this whole corner off so it'll smooth itself out. And then I can uh, cut that there and just uh, fold this piece down over it. Hold it in place. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut in a few more jets. Just help it burn a little. I could just cut triangles out of these, but I've already gone with the squares. Okay, so this is what this piece looks like. 
it's just a, a round piece with uh, a couple uh, cuts on the outside of it. So this is going to go on the bottom here, and that will create the base of it where the jet or where uh, we're actually going to pour fuel on the inside here, and the fuel is going to come out through these little ports to this outer chamber here, and it's going to burn up through the little jets that we're going to create later. So, in order to fit this into this, this has to be flared out, which is where another pop can comes in. And we're just going to put the top of it inside it and just uh, work it around. We're just going to work it around. I mean, this might take you a few minutes. But if you push hard, you'll actually see it start to bend itself out. You want to be careful. Make sure your edges are clean so you don't rip the metal at all. I don't know if uh, you can see that at all, but it's kind of comes out, flares out a little bit. This may or may not be enough, but we're going to try it. So we're going to stick our piece in here, this inner piece, and then we're going to see if we can just press this. Oh, yep, I flared it out enough. So this actually slides neatly into there now. But before I push it down, I want to make sure that this piece is a little bit smaller. So when I come down, it'll actually pinch down on this. So I'm going to put it in there and press it down. There. And there. Um, from here, what we can do is take these scissors and just cut out along this, see if we can get some of this crap cut out here. I usually just uh, cut out what I can and bend down the rest, not really too concerned about it, as long as I can, you know, get a decent sized hole in the center because that's where the flames will begin to shoot out and help light the pilot holes or the pilot jets on there. So, so I'm just cut out what I can, bend down the rest. Don't worry too much if you can't get very much out get what you can and that's fine so with these scissors they actually uh, come apart and I'm going to use this edge on here just to kind of bend down the rest of these well I'm using my thumb but your fingers aren't strong enough to do it, you could use the edge of the scissors. So, there we go. That's uh, about what it should look like. You got a big hole in the middle there. So, now we'll take this other scissor and we'll put a hole on one side. Right there. That's our first pilot hole. Then we'll do it on this corner, then we'll do it here, just uh, just keep making them around until you have anywhere between like uh, 12 to 20 of them spaced pretty evenly. 
they don't have to be absolutely perfect. And just so they're there and the fuel can burn through them. And that is it. After you have uh, completed this, you now have a functional stove. Just make sure it's pressed down tightly on there. And that's exactly what this is. Pour your fuel in here, light it, and you're good to go.